Shalom, first and foremost. I'd like to give all praises, glory, and honor to, to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Wakakadash. Noble honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone, preaching his word, truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word, truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word, truthfully and sincerely. And I say shalom to you, Akim, out there. <clears throat> And this is a uh, sit-down lesson on this uh, February the 20th, 2022, on this uh, Sunday night. And this is from the New York Times. And this article reads the highlight of it. And it says, one day in shooting at a Portland protest against police violence. Uh, five of the people were wounded in the shooting, which the police say appears to be a confrontation be between a armed protesters and a armed homeowner. Police officers at the scene of a shooting near Normandale Park in Portland on Saturday night. It says a deadly weekend shooting in Portland at a protest against police killings left one person dead and five others wounded, raising tensions once again among the city's social justice activists. Uh, the police department bureau said a, a woman was dead when officers arrived on Saturday night at the scene in the neighborhood of Rose City Park. Two men and three other women were taken to a nearby hospital the police said it says the shooting would occur at the start of a protest appears to be a confrontation between armed protesters and arm and a armed home or home owner of it so uh, lieutenant nathan shepherd said by phone on sunday that that's what the preliminary investigation is indicating he declined to provide details about the people hospitalized and declined to say whether anyone was in custody. It says uh, the crime scene was extremely chaotic, the police said in a statement on Sunday, and a number of witnesses were uncooperative. While responding officers, most people on the scenes left without talking to police. And it says uh, the statement added that detectives believe a large number of people either witnessed what happened or recorded the incident. This is a very complicated incident. Investigators are trying to put this puzzle together uh, without having all the pieces the statement said. Hours after the shooting, the body of the slain victim was still lying on the street. As the police works to determine how events unfold, a news conference about the shooting on Sunday was disrupted almost immediately by several protesters, one of them whom denounced uh, white nationalism. This is a statement from the officers of Mayor Ted Willer said that they was closely monitoring the situation. Uh, Police Chief Chuck Reville, we will provide an update once more information is available, the statement says. The shooting took place near a park in Portland has been the staging ground for a number of protests against police killings in recent years. Neighboring and, and several shots were fired. I was sitting in a room talking to my wife and all of a sudden you heard repeated shots. I mean repeated, repeated gunshots. <laughs> Said Jeff Prairie who lived in the area. It says protesters were to meet around about 7 p.m and began to march around uh, 8 p.m. local time from the area around Normandale Park 
According to the father's share on run ahead of the event, the shooting seems to take place as the uh, march began, but few accounts online share details, and many activists did not respond to the request for comment. Some activist groups warned protesters to limit the sharing of first-hand accounts on social media, whether those photos or next. Protesters have begun demonstrating the Portland uh, police against Portland against Willie's kisses for years. Some since before George Floyd was murdered by a Minneapolis police officer in 2020. In March, the march on Saturday night was partly led by Letha Winston, who sons Patrick. Hammers was fatally shot in 2018 by police officers in Portland who were responding to an altercation at a grand jury determined that the deadly f- force was justified. Mr. Winston has held sometimes uh, weekly marches to protest against racial justice. Information on social uh, media indicating uh, the protest on Saturday was in response to the death of Amir Luki, 22, who was federally shot by the police in Minnesota when they were carrying out a search warrant early on February the 2nd. The killing of Mr. Luki, was, who was black, and stirred anger in Portland. Uh, Mr. Lockie was not the target of the police raid, which were carried out with a so-called no-knock warrant that does not require notifying and residents. Minneapolis has sent suspension the use of such warrants. It says uh, in a media image that promotes the protest on social media organizes sought justice for Amir Lockheed and justice for Patrick Kimmins and in addition to others involved in the case of police shootings. It says in Portland demonstrators of the racial justice have sometimes spiral into violence between protesters and counter protesters but initial reports did not indicate that counter protesters were presented on Saturday night. While the protests I mean while the police in Portland have been criticizing for overreacting to the demonstrations the police have acknowledged using force more than 6,000 times during the protests in 2020, prompting a remain from the Department of Justice. The consistent clashes have ex- experienced many Portland residents, including the mayor, Eric Ward, executive director of the Western State Central and nonprofit force on countering white nationalism, and uh, issued a statement denouncing the violence on Saturday night. Uh, political violence, regardless of where it originates, only undermines of social movements that seeks. <clears throat> a more inclusive society, he said in the statement, where uh, uh, its police brutality preliminates vigilantes or misguided actions in support of police reform. There is simply no more room for political violence in Portland. We are looking we are working to build, he said. You know, that goes into the book of uh, Mark chapter 3, verse 25. You know, if a, if, if a nation divided against itself, how should it stand? 
You know, they was talking about the uh, police violence against so-called black people, which, you know, because uh, the black people here in America, they are the real Jews according to the Holy Scriptures, and they from the tribe of Judah. The so-called Negroes or so-called African Americans, they are from the tribe of Judah, you know. And, you know, it's been a lot, a lot of activity been going on in Portland throughout last year and 2020, you know. As I was scrolling down through the article of the histories, you know, they do uh, protests about the uh, recent police shootings of a black person that killed in Portland. And they were saying it was justified. And then they was protesting recently about the uh, George, George Floyd case as well, too. And recently about the uh, another Minnesota shooting of a, a 22-year-old Amir Lockheed, I believe, uh, protesting against that as well, too. And then you had uh, counter-protests versus uh, the, you know, the regular protesters that's uh, activists that's uh, protesting against police brutality. So, you know, these uh, goes into the uh, Mark 3 and 25 that I'm about to bring out, you know. Uh, this is the book of Mark, chapter 3, verse 25. And if a house be divided against itself, that cannot stand, right? Because, you know, you got... Uh, Sake. This is the book of Mark, chapter 3, verse 25. And if a house be divided against itself, the house cannot stand, right? Because, you know, modern day uh, Babylon, you know, this is a house that cannot stand, you know. And it'd be like that in other countries as well, too, you know. Because, you know, you know, we are living in a time of, um, you know, they saying like uh, America... You know, they, um, you know, we all in that one melting pot. All the nations are coming together, you know, you know, uh, just to get along, you know. Can we all just get along and all that? And sometimes, you know, that, that might not be the case, you know. Because, um, especially when it comes to the political thing, because you have, uh, protesters and counter protesters you know they uh um, pro um you know they they pro uh local authorities and you know you got protesters that fully support the law enforcement and the police departments and everything like that and they got the protesters on the other side that oppose those things and you know they uh protests of the uh, police shootings of uh, of so-called African Americans, you know, which they from the tribe of Judah. You know, they got these dividing because uh, I believe uh, like I mentioned before, from 2020 and 21 as well too, you've been having uh, Antifa, you know, and then you be having the alt-right as well too their uh, protests and stuff like that. You know, they've been kind of violent over there for the last two years or so, you know. So, I let you know those are signs of examples of, uh, you know, if a house be divided, you know, it which just cannot stand, you know. Because you're going to see a uh, continue of divide of uh, both different political fit. You know, both different political groups, 
that's going to be continue to be divided against one another. You know, there are different views on uh, certain uh, policies, especially like in the uh, police department or anything like that. Social justices and many other uh, categories of uh, for equal opportunities, you know, the freedom of speech, you know, and many other uh, things that uh, protest for rights and many things like that, you know. And then you're going to have, uh, you know, and I, I was reading an article, they said it was an early confrontation, if the reports are true, you know, about uh, the incident happened over there in Portland, as I was reading an article from the uh, New York Times, you know, about, you know, that was an early confrontation um, between a homeowner he was an armed homeowner and an armed protester. So, you know, that shows you signs of uh, the Book of Mark 3 and 4, I mean, 3 and 25, you know. So, I let you know, uh, and I'm worried again for edification's sake. This is the Book of Mark, chapter 3, verse 25, and it reads, And if a house be divided against itself, a house cannot stand, right? Because, you know, we still got the uh, continual of uh, you know this great division between two different sides of groups that oppose certain things you know but you know with the protests you got the people that pro support certain things and then you got the other protesters that's opposed to certain things or the different views from the other groups of, of protesters so that's showing signs of uh, division, you know, which is a house that cannot stand if it can if it's divided, you know, and we are, you know, seeing that with these uh, protests, you know. I mean, you ain't been really seeing much like uh, upticks, uh, upwards of protests in America so far, but I expect to see it's going to increase again of these uh, protests of both different sides of uh, groups of protesting, having their different views on certain issues, you know, what's going on in the country, you know. And I'm gonna bring out the scripture as well too. Sedition among men, you know. And you know, this sedition among men about that goes into, you know, when I was reading the article, it shows you examples of um, it was a, a armed homeowner and an armed protester, you know, and there was an early confrontation. You know, you're gonna see things like this in these in these last days that we are living in. You're gonna see the increase of sedition among men, you know. It says, this is the book of uh, Second Andrews, chapter 15, verse 16, and it reads, For there shall be sedition among men. And I'm going to look up a definition, sedition. Right, sedition. Conduct or speech or enticing people to rebel against the authorities or a state or monarch. You know, like like with the uh, protests against the uh, you know they got uh, social justice. You know, with the social justice system. You know, and a lot of people are protesting against that with the social the injustice of uh, that targets so-called African-American people, you know, even if it's justified or unjustified. That's what you call sedition. And evading one another. And they should not regard nor their kings nor their princes in the course of their actions to stand in their power, right? You're going to see uh, continue an increase of uh, protests of uh, the people going against their political leaders and their political figures, you know. And you're going to see um, 
more of increase of these things in the last days, you know. And I'm going to bring out the uh, book of Second Edges. I believe Second Edges 9 and 3. Uh, this is the book of Second Edges, nine and three. Therefore, there shall be scenes of earthquakes and uproars and the people in the world, right? Because you're seeing the uproars of these uh, different people uh, protesting against one another. You know, and that goes back into the book of Mark, uh, uh, three, verse twenty-five. If a house be divided, how shall it stand? You know. Because, you know, those, these are the uh, signs of times that we are living in. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to increase in the last days. But, you know, we're so used to seeing these kind, type of uh, protests of uh, two different groups of uh, people confronting one another. You know, we're going to see the increase of these things in the last days, even though tensions have been calming down a little bit from the year 2020 and 2021. Because you've been seeing the uh, Antifa going against the alt-right and uh, white nationalism groups and stuff like that, for an example, you know. Especially over there in Portland, you've been seeing a lot of that, you know, <laughs> throughout the year 2020 and 2021. I wouldn't be surprised you start to see that start, uh, start showing up again with these type of uh, incidents, you know of these uh, class divisions between these two different uh, political groups of people, you know, that protest uh, against uh, the social injustices and the ones that uh, uh, support the uh, political leaders and political figures and the local authorities, you know, and everything like that. And then you had the ones that imposed them, potentially defunding them, or, you know, against social justice, the injustices of that, you know. So, you know, these are uh, uh, many signs that, that goes to that, and it's going to increase in the last days, you know. And I'm going to bring out another scripture as well, too. Uh, between, you know, that, that confrontation between the uh, armed protester and the home on the arm protest as well too, you know. And this is the book of uh, Matthew chapter 24, verse 12, and it reads, uh, and because of the iniquity shall abound. And I'm going to look up the definition of iniquity. Right. Iniquity is uh, immoral or grossly unf unfair behavior. Right. Because, you know, in the last days that we are living in, you're going to see the increase of these things, even though we are so accustomed and so used to these things, you know. On a common basis, that we see these type of uh, examples of incidents like this, especially with the protesters in America, you know, you're gonna see the increase of these uh, things, you know. Or right, I'm gonna read it again. This is because I mean Matthew's 24 and 12, and right, I'm gonna read it again for edification's sake of the sit down lesson for t for tonight, you know. And because of iniquity shall abound. The love of many show by its cold, right? Gonna have a lot of people out here uh, waxing cold against one another, you know? You know, they're not gonna have no no, uh, no feelings, no love type against one another, you know? Or trying to find ways to settle their differences in a different way, you know? From a, uh, you know, from a uh, intelligent, calm attention standpoint, you know, it's going to get uh, physical, verbally uh, heated, intense conversations, which can lead to 
somebody end up hurting somebody and uh, one person go to jail and another person end up getting seriously injured. You know, these are of us showing signs. It can be randomly as well, too. It can be within your family, from an economic base, you know, in many other categories of uh, iniquity shall abound and the love of many wax and cold. You know, it's going to wax uh, worse and worse and worse in the last days that we are currently living in. Like I mentioned before, we're so accustomed to hearing these things, but it's going to uh, increase, even though tensions kind of calm down a little bit. But it's going to increase a love of many shall wax cold, you know, in these last days, you know. Scriptures will too. To, like they was mentioning us, uh, I was reading a news article and they was saying, you know, and I'm gonna mention again of the incident that happened over there in Portland on a Saturday night. Was a, it was an early confrontation before the protest start, and they said shots rang out. Uh, one woman was dead. Three, three men. And two women were uh, injured at the scene because it, because it was an early confrontation be, between the armed homeowner and the armed uh, protesters, you know. And it goes into right here. And this can relate to a description about, I'm about to bring out. Uh, this is the book of Second Edgers, chapter 15, verse 15, verse 15. And it reads, For the sword and the scrushes draw nigh, one people shall stand up and fight one another with swords in their hands because a modern day sword is the modern day gun you know because in the ancient time they were sword they was fighting with swords now the sword is the uh, modern day gun the modern day weapon what's they use between against one another you know on this situation of the news article I was reading about what the situation that happened over there in Portland you know, even though they said like two different groups of people, which probably be like another race, but this situation right here, they was, you know, it was uh, two different, uh, another groups of people, which is you know the protesters, the people that's uh, uh, you got the pro, the pro protest activists. And you got the uh, the regular protesters that's fighting for social injustices, the injustices of uh, police brutality and stuff like that, for examples. So you know those that shows signs of that as well too. Cause yeah, you know when that time comes, you're gonna have uh, class riots, uh, different race of people going against one another from a different race. Even within their own race as well, too. Like the scripture says, I roughly paraphrase of uh, your neighbor should spoil your goods, which is your goods of your foods and stuff like that. In the time of Jacob's trouble, when it fully implemented, when it comes, you know. So, yeah, you know, these are the scriptures that I uh, brought out, uh, which relates to this, uh, this incident that happened over there in Portland, you know. When uh, one, per one person had to have and a fire was injured, you know. Just like in the book of Mark 3 and 25, if a house be divided against itself, how shall it stand, you know? So expect to see of a uh, increase of things that happen like this on a potential daily basis, you know? 
And so with that, I hope this lesson will edify you through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of your Hawaii Abishai. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Agar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, and great millstone, preaching his word, truth and sincerely. Uh, shout out to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word, truth and sincerely. That be like unto the uh, speckled bird, preaching his word, truth and sincerely. And until next time, I will say Shalom. And before I close out the sit down lesson on this February the 20th, 2022, on this uh, uh, Sunday afternoon, I mean Sunday night, I meant to say Salaki. So expect to see, as I bring it out, at the beginning of the sit down lesson, you know, expect to see the continual increase of uh, Mark, the book of Mark, chapter 3, verse 25. If a house be the divided, which cannot stand, you know, you're going to see the continual of uh, division in this country, you know. And expect to see more increase of that in the current times that we are living in. And so with that, I'll say shalom.